hi gorgeous what is up and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is cc cc of the good life and if you're an og returning subscriber welcome back i'll be talking about my top sunscreens for men of color or you could call it my best sunscreens for men of color and in fact that i'm saying just for men of color doesn't mean it cannot be also best sunscreens for men in general okay so if there's one skincare i'm going to recommend for everybody and anybody no matter your skincare concerns or what you're trying to achieve it will definitely be sunscreen okay and i feel this video is important right now because it can help you make a decision as to what sunscreen you're going to try next or what sunscreen you're going to be indulging in in the new year so today i'm going to be focusing on my top five it's basically the top five out of all the sunscreen i've come in contact with or i have tried in this particular year and even some that i've repurchased because i mean there are some that are so good that i had to actually try and buy it again so basically the criteria for it to even get to the top five on my list was does it give me a white cast is it friendly for men of color i have very oily skin does it work perfectly with my oily skin also i sweat a lot so i don't want a sunscreen that will make me sweat even more so that's something i also considered how affordable is it because i mean i'm going to wear sunscreen every single day i want a sunscreen that i can comfortably repurchase even after it finishes is it lightweight or not and how does it apply under makeup i want you to know that all the sunscreens i'm going to be talking about are spf 30 and above and that's exactly what you should be aiming for personally i actually aim for spf 50 when it comes to sunscreen like 50 and above for me is the standard and then another question that people are going to ask me because people always ask whenever i do any sunscreen review is what type of sunscreen is it is it a chemical sunscreen or a physical sunscreen and i'm not going to go into detail as to what is containing a chemical and what's the difference between it and a physical sunscreen so technically i've only tried only chemical sunscreens and from my research i found that chemical sunscreen actually works pretty much better for people who sweat a lot so maybe with a new year we could try physical sunscreen but literally every sunscreen i'm going to be reviewing today is a chemical sunscreen so without further ado let us get right into the video the first sunscreen i'm going to be talking about that means my top five sunscreen list for the year is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel lotion sunscreen in broad spectrum spf 50. it is always a mouthful to call spfs in your full names anyway this is what it looks like i already did like a full review of this on my channel so i'm definitely going to be linking it somewhere on the screen and in my description box so that you can go and watch it in detail if you're an og on this channel you know how many times i have repurchased this on screen I, this is literally the only sunscreen i used in my life for like two years straight you tried the only sunscreen I used. That's to show you how much I loved it. I was excited to break the jinx and try other sunscreens. But even now, that is still made it to my top five list. So definitely like this one. With it, I have like a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one container. Like I can't skip the moisturizer step when I'm doing my skincare because of how hydrating this sunscreen is. The only con I would say for this sunscreen is that. Let me be frank this sunscreen stings the eye like i have to be very careful about how i apply and where i'm going to because if i go to anywhere where i'm going to overly sweat it's definitely going to get into my eyes and sting but it's not like an unbearable sting i mean i can live with it it's not terrible but that's just the only con i feel about this sunscreen if your son doesn't like the hydrating feel you like your face to always look mad then definitely stay away from this sunscreen it is not for you this sunscreen currently retails for 10,800 naira from the store I always buy it from. But I think the price range right now is from like 10,000 to 12,000 depending on the store that you buy it from. So this is what the consistency of this sunscreen looks like. It has this blue thin thing to it which definitely disappears once you apply it on your skin. Uh, let me just do like a mini wear test so that you guys can see what I mean when I say it is hydrating. Like, should I come closer? Oh my god, I forgot how much fragrance this sunscreen has. The fragrance is actually quite strong. So if that's something that you are uncomfortable with, then you might actually want to skip this sunscreen. 
I'm not even going to lie, this sunscreen is still a fave for me. I actually forgot how hydrating this sunscreen is. Oh my god. This is perfect for this dry season and I'm definitely going to repurchase it. Like, what? I love. So I'm just going to clean up with my cellar water and we would get into the next sunscreen. So the next sunscreen that made it to my top five list for the year is the Black Girl Sunscreen in SPF 30. And this is the only sunscreen I've ever used or ever tried as SPF 30. And you guys already know that I am an SPF 50 plus and above babe. This is what it looks like. Packaging, I would say I like. I like the fact that it's a sunscreen made by a black girl for the black girl, you know? And that's one why I wanted to try it in the first place. It contains your typical chemical blockers as its active ingredients. So, avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. I mean, I've modeled those names, but you get the idea. And it also has a lot of oils in the ingredient list. So, it's infused with jojoba oil, there's avocado oil, there's carrot seed oil, there's sunflower seed oil, like basically infused with a lot of oils. And the reason why I did not get the one that is SPF 45 was because I think that one is the Make It Matte Hybrid Mineral Combo Sunscreen. So basically it's a combination of the chemical and the physical sunscreen. And I just wanted something that was generally a chemical sunscreen. That's why I went for the OG one. So this sunscreen kind of looks like this in consistency. It has the thickest consistency for a sunscreen I have ever used. And that scared me in the beginning because if you're like me, there's an oily girl, like you want stuff that you feel already look lightweight when you bring them out of the pack of the tube. So the fact that it was thick, even feels thick when I rub my hands together. First time I tried, I was like, okay, I think I'm not going to like it. But when I applied it, it was a different story. It is even less hydrating than the Neutrogena one. It sits heavy on the skin, but it's not an uncomfortable feeling. It doesn't sting my eyes. There's no white cast, as you guys can obviously see. It does contain a little bit of fragrance but it's not an overpowering fragrance like it's just it's just there it retails for between 9500 and 12 i've seen stores sell it for as high as 12000 naira, and to me that's a little bit pricey but if you're looking at it from a standpoint that you're getting three fluid ounces of product as against most sunscreens that are affordable but you're getting around 1.75 fluid ounces then it is definitely a good bargain and i like the sunscreen for that my con with this sunscreen just the fact that it's spf 30 i am an spf 50 and above babe and this one for me was just like oh it was good we know now black girl did something amazing with the og black girl sunscreen all right so let's take this one off and we are definitely going to be moving on to the next sunscreen you guys have seen how much I'm making sure that you guys get all the full experience. For all this hard work, subscribe to this channel and like this video if you're enjoying it already and share to your friends too so that they can watch. The next sunscreen that made my top five list of the best sunscreens for men of color is the Bar UV one. This is their Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus in PA 4 Pluses, the Aqua Rich one. And this is what the consistency looks like it's quite runny if you can see that so yeah oh. it has that typical sunscreen smell always apply your sunscreen to your neck too okay So I'm just gonna come closer so you guys can see what the sunscreen looks like. Obviously, no white cast, it just melts into my skin. I absolutely love the sunscreen. Like all my friends, 
stand by this sunscreen like they have the bigger bottles they've tried it they even made me want to even try it because of how much they raved about this particular sunscreen and i actually love the way it applies it is one of those lightweight sunscreens it still gave me like that hydrating feel without me looking like a grease ball so i can wear this all the time during the year so rainy season dry season whenever I it is so compact, it's so small, it can enter into your bag. It is the perfect travel size sunscreen. It retails for 5,500 to like 7,000, depending on the brand you're buying it from. And the only con for me to this product is, there's no con. I'm yet to find what I do not particularly like about this product. And that's the only con to this product because why would you be that perfect? Like, why don't you have any issues? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm going to just take this one off and then we're going to go into the next sunscreen. Next sunscreen that made it to my top five list is from a Nigerian brand. And when I tell you that I was shocked and I am so proud of this particular brand for not just catering for makeup, but also catering for skincare as well. And the fact that they are a Nigerian brand, I love. And this sunscreen is from the Miss Medics brand. This is the Miss Medic Sun Shield in SPF 50 plus. It kind of comes in like a pack like this. And then you find the product inside and it looks like this. When I tell you that they say it is lightweight, non-greasy with no white cast, no lies were told. Like I find myself reaching for this sunscreen the most. It is the most lightweight sunscreen I have tried in my life. I am not kidding. Sometimes when I apply this sunscreen, I have to double check. Did I apply the sunscreen or did I apply the moisturizer? Because the moisturizer comes in like a similar packaging. This is what the sunscreen packaging looks like. And this is what the moisturizer packaging looks like. You get the whole same white and black thing. Sometimes when I apply, I'm like, Oh yeah, 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 I see the sunscreen. Like that is how lightweight it is. It applies like a moisturizer. This is kind of what the consistency looks like. It is white and you can see it's actually runny. And I'm just going to apply more so that you guys can see that no matter how much you put, it will still be lightweight, okay? It doesn't have your typical sunscreen fragrance. It's like you want to apply it. It just feels like you're applying fragrance moisturizer I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything I need to go in with more I'm applying more I'm applying more of that just so you guys can see how lightweight it is it just goes and rubs in like a moisturizer I am obsessed it does not sting the eye I can put this all the way here and i'm not scared of it getting into my eyes i absolutely love the way it wears throughout the day hold on let me come closer so you guys can see what you're working with you guys see ah oh, obsessed the world is obsessed i love the sunscreen so i have oily skin and i recommend it for anybody that has oily skin too because it works for me it should definitely work for you it is non-greasy and i find that it wears very beautifully under makeup so like i said i'm always reaching for the sunscreen so it makes sense that when i even have to apply makeup i reach for it so it comes in a 50 ml packaging and a 100 ml packaging i think the 50 ml retails for 5500 naira and then the 100 ml retails for 9,500 naira, which to me is a steal. You get 1.75 fluid ounces of products with the 50 ml packaging. The only con I think I find with this sunscreen is the fact that it doesn't contain the typical chemical blockers that I naturally know with more American or Canadian sunscreens. And to me, maybe because I'm so used to that being the active ingredient in the products that i typically reach for with more foreign brands i kind of don't feel 100 percent protected i know that's weird but yeah that's the only con that's like is, is it really a con it's just something that you need to note that the active ingredient is not your typical octocrylene avobenzone your octisalate instead it is ethyl hexyl 
Methoxycinate and Benzophenone 3. I'm going to put it on the screen because I know that I definitely mother those names, okay? Finally, we are at my favorite sunscreen that I have tried so far. It's definitely the top sunscreen I've tried this year. And it, this is the Misha Aqua Sun Gel in SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Pluses. And this is what it looks like. Like, we need drum roll for this sunscreen, okay? This is what it looks like. You guys already know that I did a full review of this sunscreen on my channel. So, if you want to watch that, I'm going to link it in my description box and up here. But we're going to do a very quick wear test, okay? Just because I love this sunscreen and I want to reapply it, okay? See, I'm almost done with this product. That is how much I love it. And I have repurchased how many times this year alone? I'm always repurchasing it out of all the sunscreens i think it's the most repurchased for me this particular year let me come closer so you guys can appreciate the beauty that is this sunscreen okay do you guys see how my skin is matte but still hydrated most times when a product wants to hydrate you it kind of overcompensates but how this formula is matte but does not leave you dried out is something i cannot stop talking about and i know that they've done a repackaging so i'm basically talking about this particular old formula because i'm definitely going to try the new formula next and if there's any difference i'll definitely be updating you guys this is one sunscreen that i actually have no issues reapplying because every single time i'm going to reapply it is going to reapply mats i will keep on raving about how much i love this sunscreen i love it okay and i always recommend it to people beside me like once you ask me oh just buy the misha one just buy the misha one just buy the one from misha and in particular the misha aqua sun gel in spf 50 plus pa4 pluses just look at it look at what the packaging looks like because there are other sunscreens from the nisha brand so you don't make that mistake okay before we go there's one last sunscreen that is worthy of honorable mention and that is the altruist sunscreen spf 50. do you see how all my sunscreens are like fcs 50 and above that is basically the spectrum you're going to see me at and this one i got for my body i got it for your, my chest i got it basically for my chest my hands when i wear exposed dresses because let me not lie you're supposed to like cover up your body to limit sun exposure but i like to show off my skin i'm that girl okay so i actually bought this for that reason but i found that i actually also liked the way it's applied on my face i tried it once and i wasn't wet it out i like that it's a no contact kind of sunscreen so you just And just like that you have sunscreen on how perfect is that i find this very perfect for reapplying sunscreen when i'm in a hurry i feel my hands are dirty i don't want to mess up my skin i just use this so if i know i'm going to stay out for a long time i always take it all the way down and i apply it on my hands like this you get my point and the only con i have with this sunscreen is with the packaging sometimes when i go to look at it i find that it has done See, now it's trying to be silly. It just comes up like this and it starts to, because it's in a gaseous form, it starts to, I don't know, evaporate if I use that word. I can literally hear it make that noise of something. I, I don't like that about it. So I don't know if it's this particular one that has a faulty packaging. So I'm going to try and repurchase it. The second thing I do not like about this sunscreen, and I would say is a con, is I do not know how to measure if I'm wearing enough sunscreen with this particular sun spray. Okay. So you know how with the other sunscreens, you can use the three finger rule just to make sure that you are applying enough or adequate sunscreen. With this one there's no way to measure it how do i know that i'm wearing enough sunscreen for my skin there's no way for me to find that out and that's like the only con but what i do is just apply as much as possible or as much as i feel like my skin time or as much as i feel like my skin can take and we are good to go 
now the fact that i'm saying oh let's go into sunscreen buy sunscreen that's not all you need you need to make sure that you are reapplying sunscreen you need to make sure that you're limiting sun exposure if i can do what i want to go out for later in the day i would go out later in the day i wear covered up clothes when i go out in the sun as much as possible i try or if i'm going to wear something exposed i try to apply something to my body or limit sun in short the entire story is limit sun exposure and wear your sunscreen limit sun exposure and wear your sunscreen as much and as many times as possible okay that's also going to help you why not just wearing only sunscreen once a day or early in the morning and then you think you're done for the day with that we've come to the end of the video i will definitely be trying out new sunscreens in the new year i definitely want to try the super group one i'm also interested in trying out some tinted sunscreens i'm also going to be delving into more physical sunscreens i'm going to try and find ones that work for men of color or physical sunscreens that affordable i mean for people like me here in nigeria and is also very accessible so if there are particular ones you want me to review or tell you how i feel about them suggest them in the comment section and i'll be doing just that for you guys if you have any further questions let me know in the comment section as always i'll be there to answer your questions don't forget to like share subscribe you already know how it is I love you guys so much and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys!